Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. In this episode, we're going to be looking at something rather unusual. Uh, actually, a game that there isn't really much uh, information on. Um, a very early PlayStation release, as far as I can tell. It's actually a game that I have really, really fond memories of uh, as a lad. In fact, it was probably my most rented game. Uh, earliest rented game on the PlayStation 1. I am, of course, talking about Wingover. Now, this is also a fairly unique game. Um, it's quite hard to get. There doesn't seem to be many copies of it. Uh, the back doesn't even give a lot away. All it says on the back is the best PlayStation arcade flying game yet. 90% total PlayStation magazine. And it just gives you a collection of uh, screenshots. Very, very curious. Now, this isn't a game in the style of, say, Ace Combat. No. Uh, whereas these are more story-based kind of arcade games, this game doesn't really have a lot of story to it. It is a tournament style sports game thing. It is very unique and we will get into it. There is quite the interesting progression system in it as well, which we will cover. Um, and it's made by JVC. You don't really hear a lot about them. And as I say, the, the box basically says nothing apart from European version. I don't know what was different between the, um, the States version or the Japanese version, but that's quite interesting. But it does support Link, and it does also support analog joystick. But, as you can see, I don't know if you can pick that up in the bottom there. Should kind of focus. I think it's alluding to an actual analog PlayStation flight stick. I don't think it means as in the um, DualShocks. But I might be wrong. We'll give that a test, see what happens. Now, the inside of this case is actually very nice. Uh, the inlay there actually gives a description of some of the planes i don't know if nope you only get the description of those planes there which is quite interesting you get to see a good look at the models also the disc itself is quite nice it's kind of basic there was a wing over two but it is very very different also the manual is really chunky really thick which is why we got these style cases because we've got so many different languages and whatnot in our versions like i said this game it's not super expensive it's not one of the super cheap games um but it did take me about 10 years on and off of looking to find a copy so i am kind of glad to have it i think i paid well on the box there it says i paid 24.99 I don't think I paid that much for it. I think I paid uh, about 15, maybe 20 pounds for it on eBay a few years ago. Manual is also quite interesting. Do you, do you remember those? Where the, every manual uh, would tell you how to set up the console. I remember those. They were cool. Now, I've got to be a little bit careful about this manual because uh, it is a little bit fragile. It even tells you some like aviation um kind of information there like uh, terminology I must get a better web, uh, wah, 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 webcam at some point one thing that is interesting is slot it says slot is the power of the engine it changes the speed of the plane I've never heard of it uh, called slot before but then I'm not an aviator so you know very very little in here basic stuff uh, anything interesting does tell you points and how to score because as i said this is kind of a sports game kind of think of it um a little bit more like quake 3 arena something like that and then you've got a directory of all the planes but in the back actually it does give us um some dog fight strategies uh here are some of the basic tips for battle prepare to shoot at the Shoot all the tough enemies and receive the honor of best shooter. Yeah, I think they should have said Top Gun, but maybe it would have been licensing issues. I don't know. So let's hear some of their fantastic tips. Get behind your opponent. For both machine gun and missiles, it is easier to hit from behind. Try to keep up with the enemy by chasing him from behind. Uh -huh. 
adjust your speed often. You will become an easy target if you pass an enemy plane. Maintain your position by adjusting the slots frequently. Yeah, that's so strange. Slots. If anyone knows about these things, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never heard that. Shoot the missiles after you have locked onto the target. Yeah, you think? Uh, the homing device will not be activated unless it's locked onto the target. Once the tur target turns red, shoot! Aim the machine gun to the target on the axis. That's kind of a weird way of saying lead the target. Anticipate the movements of the target, then shoot at the direction it is moving towards. Give commands often. The wingmen tend to behave on their own. Yes, you do have wingmen, because it's a team game, and you do have team players, to behave on their own if they're not given any commands to follow. Be sure to give uh, the effective commands... Uh, yeah, it's not very well translated, this manual. Be sure to give the effective commands all the time. Huh. Guard your back. If you're too busy following the target in front of you, the other enemy planes may attack you from behind. Use the radar and the map to monitor the situation around you. Stalling at low altitude can be fatal. If you stall in low altitude, you may crash to the ground before recovering the plane. Pay attention to your speed when you fly low. Always check the speed. If you fly too slow, steering becomes slow too. Try to maintain cruising speed. Be extra cautious when flying by canyons. Fly whilst understanding the geography around you. If not, you may crash into the canyon in front of you after making a circle whilst chasing the target. Yeah. Um, <laughs> low flying, from what I can remember in this game, can be a little bit dodgy. Mostly because of the limitations of the PlayStation 2. Uh, PlayStation 2. PlayStation 1, which we'll get into. Don't forget to protect your bases. If you want all of your bases, if you don't want all of your bases wiped out while you're busy chasing enemy planes. Yeah, so you've got two ways to win the battles. You can either wipe out the enemy planes or you can destroy their base. And then it says, happy hunting. Look out for more tips in the games magazines. I don't know how much this game was actually ever covered in magazines, to be honest, because it's such an obscure title. I did um, try and look this game up online. Um, there's no wiki for it. There's very little. There's no Let's Plays or anything of it on YouTube. So, hmm. Maybe. Um, yeah, so for all intents and purposes, this game doesn't really exist. So, let us switch over to the game and get into it, shall we? I'm using my OG PlayStation 1 for this. Uh, I do have a new SCART lead now, which I believe I mentioned in the Resident Evil video. So, let's see if this sucker is going to spring into life. Come on. It's saying no signal. That's no good. Give me a signal. There we go, excellent. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. As I said, this is one of my favorite games from when I was a kid. And uh, I remember literally playing this. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> okay, that was very weird. Hmm. Yeah, I remember coming home and playing the shit out of this game. Oh, and one second. My headset has been pulled out. That's great. Technical difficulties. Well, it wouldn't be one of my videos if it went smoothly now, would it? There we go. Now, we should have audio. There we go. Now, that is the plane you start in. And is it the plane you start in? I think it is. And it's a massive piece of shit. They intentionally start you with something that's really awful. But it ain't the worst plane in the game. Oh, listen to this. I'm going to be quiet all the way through this. Enjoy. Oh, man. I have not seen this for 20 plus years.
Well, wasn't that something? That was a serious blast from the past for me. Um, what you basically saw there was a match against our team and Team Uzi. Team Uzi is the big dog, shall we say. Uh, they're the guys that have the black F-18s. Well, at least I have three black F-18s. And uh, they are basically impossible to defeat when you start off. You cannot outgun them in a straight-on fight because this game is so old that the uh, F-18 is the top, top plane in this. There's, there's no Euro fighters. There's, there's no uh, F-22s or F-35 Lightnings. Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. Just the good old F-18. So, let's hit up. Actually, let's have a look at config and options. Okay. You would have thought... Okay, so circle is okay. So we've got rankings, save, and load. Okay, we don't really have a lot here. Uh, I can't really remember the, the bloody buttons or anything. I mean, I guess we're just going to go with that. Colli ah, right. Okay, yeah, we can actually turn ground collisions off. Um, <laughs> mm, why do you want to do that? I don't know. Um, I think this is the radar. We're going to have normal controls, because uh, I never would have used the easy ones as a kid. I used to really be into my simulations and things, so if there was a chance or an option in a flight sim to have advanced controls, I always went for that. Um, okay, so we're going to go for that. Normal control, yeah, sure, it's fine. Let's start the game. And the music in this game is fantastic. Let's go to tournament, because that's the campaign, I guess. Listen to the music. We're going to get a new game. Listen to the music. Ah, oh, it's so good. In the 21st century, mankind at long last achieved its historical dream of world peace. However, it was clear to all, oh, however, that the foundation on which that piece was based was fragile a fragile one at best there's loads of like spelling errors in this by the look of things as a result of investigations into a way to resolve this dilemma the president of the unified government concluded that it was necessary to diffuse the natural aggressive tendencies which most humans possess before they could erupt into violence and warfare extensive research and debate followed resulting in the introduction of a new kind of competitive sport Thus was born the Aerial Colosseum Circus, a type of sporting dogfight contest conducted according to a strict set of rules. Yeah, this apparently um, <laughs> quenches mankind's thirst for blood. Mmm. I would have thought a battle royale kind of thing would have been uh, more realistic, should we say. But hey-ho, whatever. Ah, the music. Round one, Egypt. Okay. Now, this is the screen that we're going to spend a lot of time on. A hanger. So, we have round one, Egypt, first battle. So, we can go to a test flight. We can check out the tournament, which is... Oh, shit. I've fucked up here. I've just skipped everything and gone straight into the uh, into the tournament. We're called Team One. Yeah, I don't think we can rename our ourselves. So you know. So here we go. This is the tournament. Uh, and we've been placed up against old stars. So Pink Oasis, Marksmen, and Vi V Girls have already been knocked out. That's interesting. FC Strikers and Uzi. Uzi is what you wanna wanna be worried about. If you're very lucky, Uzi will be knocked out before you uh, have to fight them. If not, we'll cover that. I plan on maybe doing one tournament, seeing how long it takes. So this is our merry bunch of bastards. Ah, no loading. Let's take to the skies. Now the only w problem I would say with this game is it's very repetitive. What you kind of see in one battle is that's it. So let's go. Ah, the music's still the same. So R1 increases the throttle, or the slot as the game says. Uh, L2 slows us down. And the music is fucking amazing. So we can give out basic orders here and see where our dudes are. 
We're blue, the enemy is orange. But we're not going to worry too much about that. X is fire missile. Circle is our guns. Now somehow we can change our view. I can't remember how we do that. There we go. We can have like an outside view. Alright, let's go see if we can take these guys out. Ah, I'm sorry, Bob. I'm shooting the shit out of Bob, apparently. You can have like a cinematic view, or you can go for a cockpit-esque view. And I always prefer the cockpit view. Alright, let's go for a gun kill. We're hitting him. We're hitting him. Let's lock this bastard up. Let's try and slow down so we can get inside his turning circle. We don't want to slow down too much, remember? Unfortunately, we're in a prop plane and we are engaging a jet, which is a little bit of an issue. Now, Reninsky, she is uh, probably our second best member. We have Tom, I believe his name is, who's rocking an F-16, F I think he's in. He's like our primary hard hitter. And we've got old Bob that's in a piece of shit plane that's actually worse than ours. Come on, come on. Let's get you locked up, boy. Boom, baby. One down. Good kill, Nick. Good kill. All right. So what have we got left? Let's check our map. So we've got one left over our base. Okay. Well, there's no point going to scratch their base. Let's go defend ours. Now, let's see how we can give commands. Ace. Oh, we're ace. Um, defend the base. Let's get everybody on us. I'm defending the base. How's old Bob? Did you call me? Fucking right I did, boy. Go defend the base. Looks like everyone's on the way to the base anyway. Alright, let's go clean this guy up. Now, your base is defended. Okay, this is quite interesting. Looks like one of the buttons on my controller isn't working. Oh, God. I'm going to have to look at that. Oh, Renin Rinsky's got our target. Come on, you overinflated bastard. Have some missiles. Now, ammo is limited, as you can see in the corner down there. Yeah, it looks like my L2 on this control pad doesn't work, which is problematic. Okay, we actually won that. Nice. Supreme victory. Win. Now I can go show you the other stuff. Yeah, you're going to have to lean quite heavily on your teammates. Ah, look at Rinsky. Holy shit. She is not taking any prisoners. Old Bob is useless. He barely gets any kills ever, really. Very rarely. Nick and Rinsky, you're going to be leaning on a lot. At least to begin with. So let's see. Uzi was never going to go out. Well, looks like the next round. Next round, we're going to be against Red V. Okay, we can handle that. Let's go back to our hangar. So, in the hangar, we can check our planes. We've got our manager and our mechanic. Let's go check out the manager. So, here we can check out our opponent data and our persistent data. None of it's that interesting, to be honest. So, we need to watch out for the top guy there. He's already got three kills. And Vamisi as well. Vamisi, he's also got one kill. Okay. Walker and Eden seem pretty useless. Noted. Now, if we have a look at our team data, it's basically the same thing. It just tells us how many, like, wins we've got and whatnot. We can check everybody from here. Tells us what planes we're in and all that good stuff. All right. Let's get out of here. Uh, what about pilot score? I think... Oh, okay, yeah, we have to complete at least one tournament before that comes up. And the team score, none of that's there either. So let's get out of here. Now, mechanics quite important. We can actually check out the condition of our planes here. Now, as the tournament goes on, if you get shot down or you take damage, 
That is persistent. Your planes do rapidly um, degrade over the over the course of the tournament, which is like a nice little mechanic. They do get patched up a little bit, but you can see that we've got a zero. We've got the Phantom, which is Rinsky's plane. The Phantom's not bad, actually. Uh, the F-16 is pretty damn good. That's Nick's. That's ours. And this thing is not good. But we can change parts out as well. So all of our aircraft, we can upgrade all of these different parts of our aircraft. There is a surprisingly large amount of stuff you can do. It is quite expensive, obviously, but you can make a shitty plane significantly better. 30mm Vulcan cannon. These things are demonic. And of course you get the missiles as well. So, yeah, there's, there's more depth to it than you'd realise. Uh, okay, so how do we go back? Let's get out of here. Beep, beep, beep. Now, Bob's place. I don't know why the music here is so, like, chill. Now, Bob's place, we can buy parts. We can buy missiles, guns, and all that good stuff that we've already seen. But things are not cheap. As you can see, like, the top-end missiles are 30,000. Which, obviously, uh, we have a fund level at the moment of zero credits. So, there's nothing we can do here. We can't buy planes yet. I can't remember where we buy planes to. I would have thought it was the mechanic. No, change parts, manager. Where do we buy planes to? Well, it doesn't matter too much because we have no money anyway. But my general tactic in this game was just to save all of my money up until I could buy the cheapest, most basic plane. And what? Because you can't swap your players around unless you've got like another plane to swap them into. So, for instance, I couldn't put myself in the F-18 or the F-16 unless I had another plane to put Nick into, which is kind of annoying. So what I always used to do is save up for the cheapest plane, buy it. I would put myself in either the Phantom or the F-16, and I'd put the other character in the crap plane. And then we would get significantly better. And then I'd start saving up money for the F-18s and stuff like that. And then once we got the F-18s, we would start upgrading them. And eventually, you could really kick some fucking ass. So let's see how we do against these guys anyway. These guys are looking like they're something a little bit more serious. But they're probably not. Who knows? Now, if you do get shot down... You take a massive amount of damage to your plane. Alright, let's go, boys. Full throttle. Alright, let's go, boys. Let's have a little look. Nick, cover me, boy. Rinsky. Always get Nick on my wing. Let's go for full power. Now, up in the um, left corner there, you've got... FB, FP, EB, and uh, EP, which is kind of weird. But that's friendly base and friendly planes, enemy base and enemy planes. Now, if we push triangle, we can swap the range out. Oh, we're, be we're being zeroed in on. That's a maneuver. All right, not bad, not bad, boys. Not bad. Let's try and slow down. It looks like... Damn, Nick's on fire. Go on, Nick. Kill him. All right, let's light this guy up. We've hit him. Oh, we've got him. Damn it. We hit old Bob there a little bit. Yes, down you go, boy. Who's next? Go on, Nick. Nice. Nice stuff. Whoa. Taking rounds. Taking rounds. Holy shit. That was rough. Now, if we go down, uh, it's over. Oh, Nick's gone. Nick's gone. The battle is heating up. Oh, we're taking rounds. This is not going well, guys. What we're going to do? We're going to go low. And we're going to go fast. 
We're going to go low and we're going to go fast. Come on, Rinsky. That's my go. Nice. Yeah, we're we're not in a good good way here. We're going to go to their base. All right, all systems full power. We're going to tear straight towards their base and we're going to attack it. Because that's pretty much our only chance right now. Come on, come on, come on. Gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it. Yeah, I'm going to have to look in this control pad. That's really annoying. See, we can yaw this way. But we can't yaw this way. And this is my new pad. Uh, Alright. Keep it low. Now the guns at the enemy base will attack us. And they do a lot of damage. The autopilot is pulling us up. But if you go low enough, I'm pretty sure you can get under. Under the gun. And this is going to be crazy annoying. Right, you're gone. One gone. One gone. Scratch one. Let's go for the next base. Come on. There we are. Woo! She's gone. Not bad, man. Not bad. Alright, let's pitch this bass round and circle in. Come on, baby. Come on. It's firing. Yes, we got it. We got it. That was close. Whew. Got a, got a little bit worried there for a minute. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. We lost Nick. Man down. And one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, we're back. Right, so, yes, we just barely, barely survived that. Seriously. Um, okay, let's continue. Let's see what condition our planes are in. Because this is not good. We're in the semi-final. I mean, I don't think we're really going to compete against Doozy. But we shall see. We shall see. I have faith. Our planes are actually not that bad. The F-16 is kind of hosed. The Zero is pretty banged up as well. But all things considered, not bad. Rinsky is uh, pretty good. Okay. Okay, not bad. Um... Where do we buy planes to? It's actually possible that we can't buy planes until we've done at least one tournament. Because I think they unlock. Okay, right. So, let's go. Tournament time. Who are we against? Brookside. Brookside. Oh, God. That used to be a, an awful television soap in the UK. Um, I don't even know if that's still going, Brookside. Damn. Ugh. Right, okay, we're going to go low and we're going to go fast because uh, I'm going to go straight for their base. And this control pad, it's really bugging me. I'm not sure what's going on. Right, let's go, boys. No point trying to waste. Oh, man. Yeah, the FAT, well, the, well, Nick's already smoking, which does not bode well for us. Now, luckily, it does mean that they're probably already damaged as well. You can see that we're in the oldest, slowest plane here. Ah, don't give me warnings. We're fine. All right. Keep forgetting, circle is attack the base. All right, everybody, let's go attack the base. We don't really have the equipment. And we're on 58% damage ourselves, which ain't great. Uh, attack the base. We're fine, computer. We're fine. Um, attack the base. There we go. Everyone on the base. 
Damn it, Nick! Nick, you fool! You failed us! Uh oh. That was close. Yeah, it can be really hard to micromanage everything in the heat of combat, but that's where a lot of the fun comes from. Oh, yeah. It's alright. Computer, it's all good. We've got this. I don't know why they retrofitted such a computer system into this old plane anyway, but there we go. Right, let's light you up, buddy. You're done. Alrighty. We are under heavy attack here. Damn it. Damn it. We're being dialed in. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, he's getting close. Right, let's get out of it. Man, not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh, guys, I'm getting so into this again. Right, let's, uh... Come on, come on, come on. Right, gun down, gun down. Let's turn this baby around. Yeah, Next target. Nick's gone down, which is really not good. If we can just snatch this... From the jewels of defeat. Oh no, Rinsky. Rinsky! Hang in there! That's gone. That's gone. Come on. Yes! And again, I saved I saved my team. Oh. I don't think there's gonna be a lot left of us for the final battle. But we shall see. This game, man, is so much fun. Oh, Okay, we only lost Nick, but he did get 100% on his missiles, so he did score some hits. You see old Bob, you know, he's, he's passed it, bless him. It's about time we took him out behind the old hangar there and, uh, you know, put one in his head. He's too old for this. Rinsky got a few missiles off, she did some damage. Uh, and of course Uzi survived. I, I don't think we're going to survive against Uzi, guys. I really don't think we are. <sighs> Fuck. Let's check the condition of our planes. Give it to me straight, mechanic. Uh, oh, my engine's fucked. I never really see the radar get damaged, even back in the day. The F-16 is basically just a collection of uh, Gorilla Tape right now. The Phantom's not too bad. Old Bob, well, his plane's in better condition than he is. And mine... Uh, mine's a hair better. Alright, there's nothing we can do. We're just going to have to go for it. I love this music. Beep, 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 beep. Oh boy. Well, time to meet our maker, guys. Uzi. Let's do this. Now, these guys are smug little shits. And they suck. Well, kind of. I, I don't think we're going to survive this. Not that I'm a negative Nancy. I'm just saying, personally... If I was a betting man, I would be betting on the other guys. Right, attack the base. Everyone, attack the base. Old Bob, attack the base. Very rarely, old Bob will get a kill. I do mean very rarely. Right, we're going to go low and we're going to go fast. We're going to independent stay this ship. And I'm kind of really buggered here because... I didn't realise my L2 didn't work. I'm going to have to take this control pad back. Oh no! Oh, Bob's down. And we're also down. Lose. Oh. I wasn't expecting to win that. That would have been nice if we did, but... It just wasn't happening for us. I'm sorry, guys. Avenge me. And you'll get used to seeing that. Uzi won. Round one, Uzi. 
So, I mean, we got 10k for that. It's not bad. You get 16k for coming first, though. Ah. Uh, not good. Series constructor points. I can't remember how many rounds there is. Round two, Antarctica. I actually like Antarctica. For some reason, I think there's ten rounds. Which, yeah, is a lot. It's a lot. Now, we should have all of our planes fixed up now. There we go, change plane. We can now do this. <sighs> so, you can now take someone out of a plane. Um, which is cool. But we can't swap them out because there is no plane to put them in, which is really annoying. You could make this game a lot easier by uh, being able to swap people out um, without having a spare plane. It would be a lot easier. Um, okay, so if we go to Bob now, Bob's place, we should... Ah, we can now hire pilots and buy planes. Might be worth getting rid of old Bob. And that's the only plane that we can buy. There is a lot of planes, but they don't unlock until you can actually afford them. We can hire pilots as well. Who, me? Damn. That guy's probably really good. Oh, we've got Scotty. Oh, God. I can hold my own against any youngster. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, okay, I don't really know what to do with this. Uh, let's look now. I don't know whether to continue and try and win this tournament or just leave it here because basically this is it. I mean, let's go have another game. Let's go into the tournament. We're against Red View. Oh, this is going to be problematic. Because we're going to be fighting um, Uzi before the uh, <laughs> before the semi-finals, I think. Because they're on the same side we are. So unless we get very, very, very lucky and they get knocked out, we're host. And I do like the Antarctica map. I really like the Antarctica map. We're going to go low and we're going to go fast. And we're going to go straight to their base. Now, we have got 10 grand in the bank. But you literally can't do anything with 10 grand. And to be honest, there's very little point in upgrading this plane. This plane is a turd. Let's get our radar mapped right out. I'm going to have to take this control pad apart. See if I can fix it. I'm wondering if the contacts just come loose. That's really annoying. I don't know how long I've been recording for. Uh, I was going to go straight for their base, but man, the dog fighting's more fun. Come on, get a lock. Eat lead, motherfucker. That was never going to hit. Here we go. Come on. Oh, man, having that rudder not working is not great. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, we really need to keep getting these second place wins. I mean, first place would be nice. Yeah, down you go, you sack of shit. Burn. Man, the fantasies that I used to go off into my head when I was a kid playing this. Ah, oh, I used to run home from, like, work. Uh, run home from work? Yes, I used to go to work when I was a kid. I didn't, really. Uh, I used to run home from school. Oh, man, not having that yaw. I'm literally play this. Oh no, I fucked it. I fucked it. I've <laughs> ripped the run, guys. Rip the run. I'm too busy reminiscing about the old days. Ah, Well, I guess uh, we don't have to worry about Uzi after all. Okay. Damn. We went out, guys. Not good. Oh, look. That's not the worst thing that could have happened, because Uzi didn't win. So as long as we win more than they did, we weren't even on the board. Man. Yeah, if you get the top pilot as well, 
Oh, with, with, with third. That's not bad. If you get the top pilot as well, you do get a bonus for that. <sighs> right. Anyway, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip ahead now. I'm going to play a little bit of this off camera. And I'm going to see if I can uh, complete the rounds just so you can see what happens at the end. And the music, it's so good. It just gets you hyped, man. Oh, I was so excited when Wing Over 2 came out. And uh, I remember renting it, but it wasn't. It, it was a totally different game. Anyway, guys. And here we are, guys. We come to a pivotal, pivotal, pivotal moment in our career. We can finally afford the Fokker, the biplane, this piece of shit. But it's crucial because, yes, we want it. Uh, are you going to buy? Yes. Now we are poor, but... We have uh, done this for a reason, and how fitting it should be that we're in England. Um, <laughs> things things have not been going well. No, no, they have not. We're going to change plane. We are going to get old Bob. No, we are going to get Nick out of here. We're going to put him in there. And then we're going to get me. Where's me? Where am I? Oh, there's me. What a fool I am. Right, ace. I am going to go sit in this bad boy. Nick, you're going to get a slight upgrade by going into that. Um, hmm, I don't know. What's better? I don't know what's better. That? No, I think we'll keep it as it is for now. Right, now, hopefully... We can start earning the big bucks. Also, I've swapped back to my like weird counterfeit control pad. Um, because, yeah, it, you, you really do need to have the ability to team that to um, your in this. It's so important. Now I'm going to have to get used to the way this controls. With a jet, it is more different than you would think. Because holy nutsack, are the jets fast. Let's rock, motherfuckers. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Let's go for full burn. Thrusting on 100%. Well, what's interesting is it looks like the Phantom is actually quicker. And we've got a much better radar. The range goes all the way up to 5. Okay. Machine gun is much faster as well. We've got the... I think this plane has the 20mm auto cannon or Vulcan cannon as standard. Right, let's engage. Ooh. Boy, I done fucked you up. Down you go. Oh, oh Bob's got a kill. Oh, Bob's got a kill in my old plane. You better not have taken my kill, Bob. Right, this is where we can seriously start scoring points. Because now, our plane is not the weakest dog out there. Don't worry, Nick. You will eventually get your plane back, brother. Yes! <laughs> how... How everything has turned now. How the tables have turned, my friends. Right, what are we looking at? Let's go. And I am actually using the analog to control this now as well. And, uh, yeah, it actually does work very nicely. Considering it's such an old game. Right, let's get the menu up. Looks like they're making a beeline back for the base. This is unacceptable. Right, wipe them from the skies, guys. Need to be careful. We don't hit our own men. Oh, God. I rang his bell then. Wakey, wakey, motherfucker. I got you locked up, boy. Yes. Now it becomes a totally different experience once you get a jet. 
and a fairly high performance jet at that. Ah, this is more like it, guys. Hmm. Old oh, Bob got a kill. I I don't believe it. Right now we can actually have a decent chance against um, Uzi. Now we're not going to go one on one with them because we will still probably get slaughtered. But what we can do is make a beeline to their base. And the earlier we can knock them out, the better. Because that gives us a much better chance of getting the prize at the end. And the the prize, well, the financial prize for coming first, from what I remember, is not insignificant. Maximum radar range. All right. This... Shall be a glorious aerial battle, unlike the world has ever seen. Let's dance. We're going to go for the meat in the middle. I'm going to slow right down, and hopefully, we're going to shred whatever comes our way. Oh, he's gone down. Whoa, okay. We did some good damage there. We did some good damage. Unfortunately, oh Bob. Bob, don't worry about it. I'm looking after your plane, my friend. Now, it can actually be quite dangerous to fight these old planes. Because um, in a jet, you just don't have the turning circle that they have. So to that degree, I guess it's balanced. Come on. Ooh, he's not liking that. Yes, down you go, bitch. Not bad, not bad. Now, let's get some distance. Swing around. There we go. Next target. Guys, I'm so happy to be actually, like, putting some of this on YouTube. Right, we got you locked up, boy. We got you locked up. Come on. And Bob is actually coming into his own. Holy shit. Who would have thunked? Well, that's a wipe. That is a wipe. Unfortunately, we're up against Uzi next. This is where things are going to be a little bit more problematic. And Nick went down. But he did get a missile kill, so that's something. Uzi is still in the game. But that's fine. Let's ride. Oh man, we have to win this. We have to. To have any chance of staying competitive in this league, we have to win. Whew. Right, we're just going to go for a full ground attack. The F-18 is not a joke in this game. It is a crazy weapons platform. Right, boys. Now, if by some stretch of luck we can bring one down, that will actually help us monumentally. You can see how fast they are as well, just by uh, how quick they are getting into the center. Now, their F-18s are not upgraded, I don't think. All right, let's go. Right, we got one. Got one. Okay, we got one and we seriously fucked up another. But I've got one on my ass. Okay, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. We are going to have to take these guys on. Right, they may have slightly better planes than me. Oh, God, Bob. Bob. you got to work with me, brother. Now, you can see these guys are pulling all kinds of fancy maneuvers that the other AIs don't. Like, they're actively trying to outmaneuver me here. So, I'm just going to have to maneuver around him. But he's no slouch. Come on, you... Fuck. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, this is going to be not good. Oh. We're stalling. We're stalling. Not a position we need to be in, to be honest. Okay. We can just about keep up with one of these guys. Keeping up with more than one is not going to be easy. Come on. Luckily, there is only two F-18s. Oh, they're all coming on me now. They're all coming back to me. Oh, my God. This is going to get delicate. Right. The only thing we can do is try and outmaneuver them. Which I honestly don't know if I can do. Oh, boy. And I was so confident. I was so confident. Yeah, look at the fire that we're under. Just going to spam the guns and hopefully hit something. If I can take one more down. Right, he's smoking. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. No, no. The only thing we can hope is we've done enough damage to them. Hopefully we've done enough damage to them. To, uh... Yeah, we took one down and heavily damaged the others. Hopefully, they're too damaged to win. Nope, they still won. Ah, oh, god damn it. We only got six points. Now, we could still technically come out top in the pilot points. But yeah, we're never, ever... We're never going to get to the top there. Right, guys. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to meet you back probably at the end. We're going to see how far we can go. Okay, semi-final against Uzi, guys. Let's give it everything we've got. Um, <laughs> yes. I need some more energy juice. Fuck my ass and call me Charlie. This is going to be something extreme, I think. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I'm going to give him the old uh, flyby swipe, see if that helps. Oh, man. Now, I really like ASMR white noise. Like fans, um, vacuum cleaners, that kind of thing. So, the sound of the jets in this game, always like, oh man, it's like ambrosia to me. Makes me want to go to sleep. Alright, let's go. Right, one down, one down. Oh, 82% damage. Oh, that's my friend. Let's not try and shoot her down. Um, also, one thing I have noticed, that C we're on 82%. Damage, we can, if we're lucky, shit, next down, if we're lucky, and we survive, we will get a slight repair, come on, come on, alright, I just hit the hell out of him, but I don't think we did enough damage, now when I was a kid, I was absolutely infatuated, by the F-18. Thanks in part to a little film called Independence Day. Like, that was my dream. To fly one of those bad boys. And then that dream turned into... Oh, <laughs> oh, nice. Oh god, they're attacking the base. No, they're not. Uh, and then that dream turned into... Uh, driving a... Oh god, she's down. A tank. Oh god. And from there... Well... <laughs> I guess sitting here playing video games on the internet. Ah, never mind. We can't win everything, can we guys? Ah, oh, shit. Now this guy, although he's in like a crappy plane, he's... No slouch. Oh, couldn't. Just couldn't do it. 
You just can't do it on your own. Man, well you can, but you need the you need a decent plane. <sighs> We're really not going to do very well against Zuzi here. I don't actually remember them being this hard. Oh no wonder we got completely wiped. Shit. Uzi won again. Damn. Yeah, we literally have no chance. Look at that. We're down in six points. Oh. Oh, man. And Reinhardt again. Oh, we're way down in the pilot points as well. This is not going our way at all. Never mind. Round seven. Japan. I'll see you in a minute, guys. Right, guys. We're halfway through the main final battle. And we're kind of not doing too bad against Doozy. I say kind of. I'm trying to be optimistic here. But... I don't know, man. All of our dudes are still going. If I can... Ah, uh, I need to break off. I'm getting hit. Okay. There's one enemy plane left, and we're on 87%. So, we can't take any more hits. Yes, we actually defeated Uzi on what I believe is the final... The final round. Because I think, thinking about it, there's eight rounds. Oh, I got them all as well. Haha, -ha, Ace got them all. So that was round eight, Chile. We actually won. Hey, there we go. Congratulations. Team one. So shit that you can't change your name. Ah, oh, and I skipped that. Never mind. Got 15 points at least. But Uzi won. Of course they did. They were like five times ahead of everybody else. So the top prize is 40 grand. Which ain't too bad. But we got the runner up. Because apparently we became champion even though we were miles behind. I think you get one point per kill. Something like that? Ugh. And the game just like skips through everything, because of course it does. And then it just loops back round to the beginning. But you get to keep all of your money. So let's see how much dosh. No, we don't want test flight. No, nope, back. Let's see how much cash we've actually got. If we go to buy planes. We got 40 grand just under. So that does... Oh, we can get a Spitfire. Very fancy. Very fancy. We can get a P-51 Mustang. Nice. And the Fokker. We don't want the Fokker. Ooh. I wonder if we can sell the plane that we've got. I wish I could show you how much the, um, the F-18 cost. But, unfortunately, I can't. But what I am going to do, guys... We're going to leave this Let's Try right here. Uh, I've been playing for about two hours. So now I need to edit all the footage. I think I've got about ten different videos that I'm going to have to edit and put in order. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this look at um, the game. I know I have. It's been fun. It's been really fun to come back and play this again. It does kind of still hold up now. Um, it is quite a rare PlayStation game to get your hands on. So, to that end, I think it's kind of worth having in your collection. It, I'm not sure how to recommend this game, to be honest. If you're into the kind of Ace Combat tournament shooters, there's a lot of fun to be had here. But it's very repetitive. And although the music is good as well, it's very repetitive. There's only about four different tracks in the game. But it is rewarding going through the game and leveling up uh, your planes and your pilots and upgrading all the gear. If you do get addicted to it, there's a lot to dig into. Um, a lot more than it initially seems. The only problem is 
Uzi is your only real challenge in this game. They're the only team that puts up a struggle. And eventually, if you play it for like 200 hours, which I have done multiple times, well, when I was a kid, uh, eventually if you outfit your entire squad with F-18s and upgrade all of the F-18s to max, then you are unstoppable. Like... Your your teammates pretty much do all of the uh, all of the winning for you. You can just sit back. So anyway, that is a quick look at. Well, I say quick look. It's probably not going to be a very quick look. Uh, a look at uh, Wingover, one of my favourite games from my childhood. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.